Now let's take a look at the course schedule. So again, it's gonna be over here on the left-hand side under course information. And you'll find it below the course syllabus. So this is the course schedule and description and you can click here to download the printable version. So again, it's a PDF and you'll need to run it. And it's gonna open into a nice printable document that again, I would print out to use as a checklist um, each week for what you need to complete. So you'll notice um, it has all 15 weeks that we're spending together this semester. Um, and it has the week over here on the left, the activities and deliverables in the middle, and the date time frames on the right. So here we are in this first week one, um, starting on Monday the 26th, and you'll need to finish everything um, by September 1st at 11.59 p.m. Now again, don't wait until September 1st to get started. Um, that's not a good idea, but that is when everything is due. Um, so um, this first week, we're kind of already in the thick of this, but you're going through the course syllabus and the overview, uh, the Blackboard 9 orientation. You're going to take a course topic survey. Um, you're going to introduce yourself to the class on the discussion board, and you're going to take a check your understanding quiz. So this first week is not really um, all that um, time intensive, but it is important for you to really um, take a hard look um, at each section of the course and make sure you understand the structure and what's um, required of you. So starting in week two, um, you're going to have a, a new set of deliverables. Um, so this will be from September 2nd to the 8th. And you're going to start um, reading in your textbook, the Van Selinski's intro and chapter one um, chapters. And you'll have a module to complete that's going to have um, a soft talk lesson. You're going to do a small group key point entry, and you'll have your check your understanding quiz. And also in week two, you'll need to verify access to your development course. And then um, really the, the routine is very similar um, each week after that, but I'll kind of keep going through. So from the 9th to the 15th, um, you're going to read your text, chapter 2, um, same thing, soft talk lesson, your small group key point entry, your quiz, and then I'll give you an activity. So you're going to really kind of dive in and start playing with some of the tools that I'm demonstrating. Um, weeks 4 and 5 are um, put together. Um, because this is where you kind of take a hard look at some of the more advanced tools. Um, and we also have a synchronous um, session during weeks four and five. Um, and that's just where we're together. We all log in at the same time to um, a platform um, to, to talk and to see one another at the same time. Um, so that's week four and five. Week six and seven um, is where you really start to plan your syllabus, your outline, and your course map. Um, and you also will have a small group activity to complete. So um, again, that's a two-week time frame there. Then in week eight, um, you start on your actual development course project. So in week eight, you'll do your course colors, your home page, your syllabus and outline, and your instructor information. Uh, introduction section um, and you'll have a key point entry as well that week and then week nine you'll do some module content you'll you kind of keep adding to your development course project um, each week and again it's not an entire course that you're developing it's just the structure of a course and the first module of a course um, in week 10 you're going to add in a group interaction component and in week 11, you'll add an assessment component. And then in week 12, you'll have um, uh, the component of your choice that you, you can add to your course. So by the end, you're gonna have um, the start of a course with at least one module built. Um, and doing your key point uh, wiki entries along the way um, to kind of help you solidify things that you're learning. So then in week 14, um, you're going to review someone else's course, a fellow classmate's course, based on the standards that you've been reading in the textbook. Um, so that will be week 14. Then you'll have an entire week off for Thanksgiving. 
And the final um, task for you is to complete the comprehensive exam and the farewell discussion. Um, and that will wrap up our course. Um, I've also added some additional important dates for the fall if you want to take a look at those. So um, things like when registration for spring begins, um, when you can drop a course with no record, when fall commencement is going to be, and that kind of thing. So I hope that the course um, outline helps keep you sort of organized each week with what um, I expect from you in terms of deliverables.